everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Come and eat. Uh, Yovah commanded his people to keep what the scripture calls his appointed times. It, back in Leviticus 23, we were just reading there earlier. I lost my place. <clears throat> Here we are. Yovah says, Yovah spoke to Moshe saying, Speak to the children of Israel. Say to them, The feasts or the Moadim, the appointed times of Yovah, you shall proclaim them to be holy convocations. They are my feasts, so they are to be proclaimed. And these, and then the Sabbath is the first one, and then all the other ones. You shall proclaim them. You shall do them. You shall celebrate them. And so you say, well, that's for the Jews. The Jews were the people who lived back in ancient times, and we're not the Jews, we're Gentiles. Well, sorry, you're wrong there too. Uh, Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, starting verse 11, that, you, that when you come to Messiah Yeshua, you're no longer a, G a Gentile without God and without hope. You are now part of Israel. You're part of the commonwealth, the nation, the citizenship of Israel. You're now called the one new man. You are now, through Yeshua the Messiah, through the Bodh Lamb, you are the one new man. You are now part of Israel. You're Rev Romans chapter 11. You are grafted in, uh, part of the olive tree of Israel. In, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> in Galatians chapter 6, Paul says, speaking of believers, he says, you are the Israel of Elohim. Um, he calls them the Israel of Elohim in um, uh, Rome, uh, Galatians 6.16. In Galatians 3.29, he says, If you are Messiah, then you are Abraham's children, or offspring, or seed, heirs according to the promise. He says in verse 28, There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male for, for, or female, but you are all one in Messiah Yeshua. There's no longer Jew or Gentile. You are no longer Gentiles. You are one in Messiah. The, he calls the one new man in Ephesians 2. There is no Gentile gate in the New Jerusalem, which is a picture of heaven. There is only the 12 gates named after the 12 tribes of Israel. So to say that this is for the Jews and not for the Gentiles is a flat-out, specious, erroneous, non-biblical argument. There are no Gentiles that will be getting into the kingdom of Elohim. Once you come to Yeshua the Messiah, you are grafted in, you are part of Israel, part of the Israel of Elohim, Galatians 6.16, 6, 16, and the father of faith, the father of the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So the word of Elohim from Genesis to Revelation is for you, for you are the Israel of Elohim, and the Jews are one tribe out of 12 tribes. I don't know what tribe you are, I don't know what tribe I am. I may be from the tribe of Judah or from some other tribe, but I know I'm part of Israel. And that's what the Bible says. And I have many video videos that speak about that issue. Shem behim matzo kerabu 